two was going to, going to attack you as well, so you're getting attacked three times. Here we go. Um, that's a miss. Um, 22 for two. Uh, I pick odds. Cool. Yeah. It misses. And, okay, so yeah. A series of horrendous misses. Uh, these red guys are going to move forward. Each of them are going to attack one of these people. Uh, let's start. 14 definitely hits, dealing 9 damage. That guy gets hurt pretty bad. Um, that one's going to miss. That one's going to miss. And that one's going to miss. That's some weird rolling. I don't like that. That's getting a little weird. Um, Corporal List is going to run up next to Mariana and attack this guy. <coughs> I'm going to deal 7 damage to him. Uh, these pink fuckers are going to run up. Uh, one of them is going to attack them. Uh, that's a critical fail. I need a D12 from someone. Hello? Oh, oh god, okay. Um, roll two more, please. Okay. So, deck save, we're falling, be stunned next round, and seven, hit self saver. Uh, Ouch. Okay, well, she falls and she's stunned next round. And she takes... Let's just see here. Half damage is successful, so she only takes... One damage as she like trips and falls on her dagger and is stunned and prone in running water. No, no, she's on the ground by now. Okay, we're good. Um, then this one's going to attack this guy here, uh, and is going to miss. Um, then these pink guys are going to. Uh, these red archers over here are going to take fire at these guys. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Let's see one, two, three. Um, I need a D12 for that critical fail by him. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, two. Trip, save, or fall, and stun next. Uh, can you roll a second one, Matt, just for... Yeah, or there we go. Two and there seven. We... Seven again, hit self. Oh, God. Okay, so he doesn't f fall, and he's not stunned, but he does hit himself, and he takes the normal damage, so he takes nine, and somehow he 
shoots himself in the fucking foot and he's just bleeding out. It's great. Um, okay. That's their turn. Um, he's gonna run up. He only gets about there. Digger's gonna go on one, two, six. Oh, I did the wrong ones. Oh, whatever. It'll be their turns now. Okay, it's going to be these blue archers this time. Yeah, I think that's the Shadow Diamond, Matt. Pardon? I, I think that Matt was asking a question on the map. Yeah. Oh, where? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That misses. That misses. That misses. That misses. That misses. That's an odds or evens. Odds. Evens is going to hit. Dealing four damage. <laughs> uh, these two guys are going to attack the rebelling peasants in front of them. Uh, that one's going to miss. That one's going to hit killing this one. Uh, this guy is going to just... Two, three gets there. Um, is going to hit this guy, but he only deals three damage. Uh, these five green ones are going to kind of swarm him. Um, that misses. That's going to be an advantage. That misses. That's not. That's not. So he's holding his own against all those green guys over here. These blue guys are going to attack the ones in front of them. Oh, that's a critical hit from the top one here against him. Can I get a d12 from someone? So... High roller. Damn. Um, heads severed if damage is more than half remaining HP. Defender killed. Otherwise, 3d6 exploding dice. So let's see. Um, it definitely doesn't kill do uh, half the HP since it's only four damage. So now let's do three d six exploding dice. Um, I get to reroll them. So. Yeah. So it does an extra nine damage. <clears throat> um, okay, then the second one here is going to attack. Uh, that is going to hit, dealing three damage. And this one is going to attack the blue guy in front of him. And it misses horribly. All right. Okay. That's weird. And 
and they summarily cut down peasants in front of them. And then we are on Matt's turn. Yeah. Ooh, somebody drew up the the black diamond. That's cool. I got distracted. <laughs> um, but yeah, if everyone can remember, I barely remember. But Azo has been freaking out.
done. Uh, then this one's going to get attacked. Uh, 16 hits, dealing 4, which is actually just enough as he was previously wounded. Distinct uh, voice in your head going.
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and dashes the fuck out of there. same time as well you begin to feel the earth tremble and you see coming over the uh, like the horizon um, the crow clan and Coltain and commander bolt and they are riding down towards your location so I need to add them into the initiative order as well. Are they our people? They're Wiccans. <clears throat> so he wasn't the last of the Wiccans. He was just the last uh, of our squad. He was looking for a certain piece of paper I had with this initiative order. Eh, uh, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're even on horses, man. It's perfect. Just gonna say they're there from now. <laughs> uh, I'm this tune. It's my Stolian metal. Yeah. Fucking like crazy shit. It's so different. I love it. and then it's Pigu's turn. Oh, 
Okay, so, um, the creature does not seem to be responding to me, and attack to friendly, um, so I'm like, oh, shit, this isn't what should be happening. Uh, so I'm gonna try to reduce, uh, I'm gonna cast reduce on it. Hmm. <clears throat> Constitution save. What's your DC? Fifteen. Oh, he fails. So he shrinks. <laughs> Alrighty, and does that have any effect on his attacks or anything like that? Yeah, so uh, any strength checks, he does a, a disadvantage, and every attack that he does, um, he uh, has to roll 1d4 and subtract that from the damage for every attack. Oh. Lovely. He looks at you quite angrily. <laughs> chet, chet, chet. Don't look at it in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know? I don't know, West I don't West know. look at that thing! <laughs> don't look at it! I'm talking like this now, you guys, because I'm so tiny! <laughs> it comes in all sizes! Can you shrink them on the screen at all? Don't forget to bring a towel! <laughs> 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 It's like I got mini. <laughs> He's as big as the stone was. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Um, but yeah, so you you shrink a fucker. Um, all right. Okay. <laughs> We're all just gonna um, turn on it and kill it. <laughs> they're gonna disengage. And you notice that all the soldiers seem to be withdrawing from this particular area. Following, following this guy's guy. mad shouts. Sorry, which area are you at? Like towards the wickers. Like they're running towards the horses, kind of thing. Our horses? Uh, the Wiccan horses. <laughs> um, he. Uh, Mincer over here, as his name tag says, is going to drop a couple, um, what looks like, uh, just clear liquid onto the top of all these drums, and you see it begin to sizzle, and he's just like, booking it. Mm. 
So he gets hit once. Then Captain Lull is going to yell at Mariana and Liz to get back towards the cliffs and towards the uh, the Wiccan riders, and herself is going to go. Viso doesn't know what the fuck is going on, but she is disengaging. Uh, that was too far. Nope, yeah. nope, nope! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> I just hear Caitlyn in the background. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you heard correctly. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, it's Marianna's turn. Shit, I know she told me to get back. Uh... Oh my god, are you gonna just obey orders from a captain? No, I'm not. That's that's the thing though, like oh actually no, I could disengage. Uh yeah, Mariana's gonna disengage and fall back. <laughs> so too, so. <laughs> Fucking nap. Sorry, not the map. It's literally like... Shit. <laughs> okay. Um... So that's your turn, you're just disengaging over there? Yep. Okay. Uh... These blue guys over here are just kind of getting surrounded. D12, please. Two of them are going to attack Corporal List. Uh, they both miss. Just as Corporal List is retreating, um, basically what's going to happen is all these collection of uh, they they're basically those the same grenades but much larger. 
um, they're all going to explode, and you're going to hear a very large thunk. And all this, uh, just a second here. I hate changing. <laughs> okay. Um, all this area here is just going to fucking explode. And then what's going to happen as a result of that is it's going to cause... Um... Give me one second as I change colors here. Okay, come on, roll <laughs> You were waiting for it, weren't you? <laughs> no, I was watching Pigu. I was laughing at him deleting himself. For the third time. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard to delete things without deleting yourself. But yeah, basically, um... It's going to cause the river to have a much stronger current and waves upon waves of water are just going to come crashing, sweeping away basically most of the enemies and all the remaining uh, allied defenders as well in that area. Christ. So you basically uh, watch as these waves of like Mostly, like, broken up earth and mud and silt carry away screaming people, horses, soldiers calling out for help, and, and you guys just kind of watch as they're all swept away, and now these guys are firing Not arrows at Ozo. you. We're Pardon? a little preoccupied. Me and Azo are a little preoccupied with our little mini me problem. <laughs> I have never been so glad to obey an order in my life. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have just been fucked. Yeah, you're like, let me fight these few guys first. <laughs> would have yeah, been a terrible one. event. Up there? Yeah. Uh, Marianna's word linger in my mind. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get oh, it. Because I oh, I, I forgot to take down my fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't all scratched out before. I was trying to help him. Get rid of those words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pigu. I know I can always count on you. Yeah, of course. When would I ever steer you around? <laughs> Never. I trust you, Pigu. With my life. Your words are still there. What the hell? What the fuck are you all doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was our last order. <laughs> Damn it! Fourth time deleted. Okay. Um. Bye. Give me a second, because this is going to get a little weird. Um, basically, all you guys are out of combat except for. Um. Everyone we over here. Over here. <laughs> but, but we see a massive explosion. Ah. 
Okay, but we were at Azo. So, Matt, it's your turn. Um, you hear this crazy explosion happen. And basically you hear, like, people screaming and being washed away. Ah. Okay. Well, since this thing talked to me last round and told me, or asked me what it should kill, and I'm still panicking, I'm going to tell it to go kill anything that's in the explosion area. And at first, I'm going to start saying that in my mind, but then I'm going to be like, no, that doesn't work, and I'm just going to yell it out loud. Be like, go kill stuff in the explosion! <laughs> <laughs> that makes little sense, but as you wish, may I kill the one who shrunk me first? <laughs> Is this all telepathy still? Yes. Um, can I yell no at it and then blow the whistle to make it like go faster? No! <laughs> um, as you as you blow the whistle, it grabs its ears with its two front legs, and then with its four, four other ones scurries off into the water. <laughs> um, even with the current carrying it, though, and it whipping around being as small as it is, you see that it is quite nimbly jumping from screaming person to screaming person, cutting throats, ending people's misery before they drowned. And it is away, and it your combat is over. And Fretz also, what is like, done? what the fuck was that? <laughs> Why the hell was it listening it to you? I'm the one that threw the crystal on the ground. I think it had something to, something to do with the whistle. The whistle, eh? Did you hear I... it speaking? It has a horrible voice. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me help, and I like mage hand the whistle, and I try to I try to tug the whistle from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bad. Stop touching stuff. Okay, so to be clear, I still have three more gems, and he has the whistle. This is not a good combination for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, while this is all going on with your crazy whistle shenanigans, um, get your magic hand basically, out of here. Basically, like uh, Colton's fly. gonna run up to Captain Lol, and you guys are all gonna jump onto their uh, horses and double ride back to camp. Excuse uh, me. Oh, have horses? is gonna run after all, uh, Viso and them, and you guys are like. Do do we follow? <laughs> I don't know. Do we? Yeah. I uh, I can I rally or go gather my men? <clears throat> uh, you can do whatever you so choose. I I would just avoid stepping in the river as its current is like a hundred times what it used to be. That's some heavy undertow, man. Uh, I come up and I notice the body of the Wiccan and I... Oh, Viso. well, what there's the not happened? much left of his body, but you see the pieces of what's left of it strewn about. <laughs> yeah, that's what Mariana kind of turns to Viso and she's like, what the hell happened here? Where were you guys? Oh, oh, no, no, no. This thing came out of Crystal. Killed that guy. Real bad. Crystal? Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> what crystal are you talking about? Thing Pigu threw. Hmm? Okay, come with me. Come up to Pigu and Azo. I think we're both getting on the horses, getting ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, you fuckers stay put. And I'm right. like, what the hell happened out there? Why is what one the of the... What the hell Where's happened the over here? What did you do to the water? <laughs> Everything was I fine until you left. Everything was fine Before until you threw that gem. 
I pointed to the. I was just trying to help with the gem, and nothing happened until you blew the whistle. No, no, the ground exploded as soon as you threw that thing. If it exploded when I threw that thing, it would have listened to me. I wouldn't have had to shrunk it. What the hell are you two talking about? What crystal and what whistle? What the hell are you doing over there, too? What did you guys do? We were fending off against the friggin' rebels. The who? The rebels. We were getting attacked. This is like... What are you talking about? Did you not see that Wiccan? We were busy! what? There's some fucking crazy six-legged demon with daggers! What happened to the do demon? I, Did you banish it yet? I don't do know! I, do, I, do I see what what they're talking about, Evan? Can I make a perception check? Um, <laughs> you can. You can most definitely. It's gonna be a high DC as this thing is way on its way. So, <laughs> I don't see you, shit, so you guys you, are lying. You don't see anything. You think they're making up a crazy story. We're telling the How truth! How about insight? You guys are full of shit. You guys were just... Doing yeah, I, 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 with this perception check, I literally, like, literally, what you're seeing right now is them trying to get on the horses and escape with the gold, and they killed the Wiccan, so maybe roll an insight to make sure that they're telling the truth? <laughs> I never lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I somewhat so, lie. So, you're convinced that Ozzo is telling the truth about all of this? But at the but same at the time, same. you have no clue as to, like, you didn't see what they saw at all. You could definitely but tell we're, like, just fraud. you believe his story. Okay. Uh, can I ask about the crystal and the whistle? Like, can I see? Um, you, you see... Azo has a crystal, uh, um, I mean, uh, a whistle wrapped around his neck, and I don't know if Pigu shows you the, the, the remaining three diamonds. You would have seen them when we were in the temple, though, because remember I threw them, I on, the threw them on the floor? And then I picked yeah. them up. Yeah, you would have seen them. I, I don't know if I may have been away for that session. I think you were there. Uh, that was last that was week. Last I, I think you were. That was like last session. Oh, uh, I, so, I do not so, remember the crystals and the whistle. Huh. Shadow diamonds. Yeah. But they, yeah. They didn't and do anything, didn't do so I threw them on the ground in front of Pust, being like, take these things back. <laughs> they're useless. They're useless. Okay, so... And then I picked them up because I was like, they're magical, like, don't just get rid of them. I asked uh, Ozzo if he could hand over the whistle. What? It's my Here whistle! It's my whistle! They're so useless. You don't need. You don't need the uh, whistle. Well, the whistle's a uh, whistle. whistle. You, you need the gems. Hey, I threw the gem and it didn't do jack shit. It's clearly useless without the uh, whistle. I don't think anybody should have this whistle. We should give it back. Well, one of, that whistle got one of the men killed. Handed over. You can't prove shit! <laughs> Garbage roll, yeah! I'm dying right now, you guys are fucking dick. What top fuckery is this? Um, but yeah, as all this is going around, the captain's gonna come up and be like, what the fuck happened to him? What the fuck are you guys doing? That's What's what all this? What's in those bags on those horses? We were gonna bring that back to camp. Ah, oh, damn it, Mariana! <laughs> we could have lived like kings. You guys just left. really wanted to run away with that gold, didn't you? <laughs> sort of. Sort yeah. of. So I come up to Captain Lol and I'm, I tell them about our contribution to the camp's resources, and I show them. The gold. Um, with her like broken up face from her wound, you can see oh, yeah, her smile still, smile still being thing. like, "This, this, this, this might help." And she's kind of like, you know, 
bring the horses with you, blah, blah, blah. We're, oh, we're heading back to camp. Yeah. Everyone's supposed to double up with the Wiccans. So all you so guys all you get to choose somebody to, uh, to double up with. I don't get I my have my own little horse. horse. Why can't I take my horse? Yeah, I'm like, I'm sitting on one. Well, I mean, in that a horse, horse might be a little weak I because it's not a bunch of gold and an also. Or extra weight, given they're each carrying about 100 pounds of gold on them. But or what about a half carry one? like 800 pounds. Well, maybe a halfling. And yeah, so I'm probably I don't fine. know, Ozzo, you've been eating a lot of jerky lately. You are basically a whale. A uh, pig who's uh, denser, pig than, denser me. than me. Also smaller. <laughs> You fat shaming pigu now? That's Definitely. Look at that little fat fuck. <laughs> here, here, let's see what the rules say. The rules capacity of horse. Do I mean, Do I have to throw another shadow gem? No. <laughs> How oh. much does pigu weigh? Oh. oh, you guys can definitely still ride the horses. They can carry up to 540 pounds. Grumble, 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 grumble. Pigu, it's only 498. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so... Um, but yeah. Horses and you guys yeah. are riding off back to camp. Is my friend not talk to me anymore? Can I like be like, Is hey, where the fuck you go? <laughs> are you coming back? What are you back? talking about? The shadow demon thing. Oh, are you trying to send it a message? Yeah. Like, before we okay. leave, I want to be like, Okay, come back! Also, he's probably large by now. <laughs> it only lasts a minute. Oh, this is freaky shit. Um, as you say, okay, come back, um, it is like, you, you hear this in your head. I believe my entrance was unwelcome. I will remain in the shadows. Vigilant. Call if you need me. I bet. Like, okay. Ozzo now feels as though he has a creepy guardian angel. <laughs> yes. I don't know about guardian angel, but there's definitely something, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell the man to saddle up, and I guess we go out this way. Do, 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 do. Cool. Do oh, there's Fiso. Right beside me. Um, I'm gonna go take a bong hood and go to the bathroom. So if you guys want to do the same, because I'm just gonna be switching the scenes real quick on you guys. Is there only one there whistle? whistle? Yeah, there is only one whistle. Oh god. That's freaky shit. <laughs> I put it in my prison wallet. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Hey, Matt, you still on the line? Yep. That was fun. That was a very, very crazy scenario. <laughs> I like how we had nothing to do with the important <laughs> combat <laughs> and caused a casualty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I like the role playing. You do a pretty good job with that. Like, uh, you seem to work really hard on doing what's true to Ozzo, the character. <laughs> I I love doing it because it's it's fun to think like someone else and have him as a character grow. Yeah, Soon yeah. Enough, he'll make the decisions for me. I won't even have to think. <laughs> yeah, it'll be pretty easy. It's just panic, right? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> he just wants to live like peacefully. <laughs> 
Well, you know, maybe he would if he just worshipped the Shadow God. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> but, man, it goes, like, against everything. I made him to be, like, a holy healer type person. And now I'm favored by Shadow Gods. So it's, like, fucking ridiculous. You made him to be a what? A holy? or? Yeah, so I'm a divine soul sorceress. Sorcerer. Oh, so yeah. So I'm, like, I'm all holy <clears throat> magic and, like, light and stuff like that. So he's, like praise and worships the sun and stuff like that and <laughs> there's a lot of shit going on now oh that's what you get for believing in a god <laughs> yeah. you should just be talking about herbin it's much simpler when you don't have to deal with people or things or deities probably so ozzo's backstory a little bit um i just want to check how old i make him i think he was under 20 oh no he's 22 but his family got murdered because of rivaling, I don't know, nobles or whatever, and, and this giant war that's breaking out. And that's what he just assumed it was, but Evan took that and changed it into some sort of emperor haiku, or I don't know what the fuck to call that. Your parents worshipped the Shadow God. Yeah, well, before he was the Shadow God, and now he's changed into the Shadow God. But my parents are dead, so I don't know what the fuck to do with that information. <laughs> well, if you worship the light god, and that's where your powers come from, hmm, that's very interesting. What do you do with that? I don't know. So, he's inherited his abilities through divine blood or whatever, and I've made it like once every thousand years, someone in the family gets all these abilities. Um... So he's just like, yeah, I've got all these abilities, but then when the war broke out, they sanctioned magic and made it so that magic was controlled. And anybody who couldn't be controlled goes to these, like, magic-sucking mines, or they just kill you. So they, like, hid him away. And then when they all got murdered, he was just found in his house sort of thing, or he escaped. And then he's been on the run forever. So he's lived all these different lives, being a hermit or like a healer, and a miracle worker. And he's always getting into shit because people find out about his magic. So now he's hiding his magic. But lo and behold, he's just getting in shit. Mm. Do, uh, do we assume that like our characters are talking about this right now? And like sort of, hey, that shit was crazy. We're talking or does Pidu just still not know anything about Azo? I would definitely go Pigu doesn't know. Pigu doesn't know anything? Not yet. Okay, apart from the fact that I know you're a sorcerer. Yeah, because one of those NPC people apparently said it. Oh, well, I did a detect magic uh, a few seconds back and then saw that you were bathed in magic. And, like, I've, I've been so far out of society, like, I don't really care about these, you know, norms or laws. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, they're just a magical one. All right. Yeah, detect magic actually doesn't tell you if someone is something. Like it would show that I'm magical because I am I have I don't know how to describe it. I guess sort of like divine something in me. So like maybe I would glow, but it doesn't say that I'm a sorcerer or anything like that when you detect magic. Well, you can only I'm detect going the presence off of what stuff. the dungeon master told me. So when I detected magic, it was after your like your interaction with the shadow gods. Yeah, I think you that's were, what was I was. Up. And yeah. I detected magic, and Evan said, "Well, you well, detect his normal aura, but extra." Yeah, so it it shows right here that you can see like. A faint aura around any visible creature or object that bears magic. Yeah, but that's like, like casted magic is how you detect magic. So anything that's got like mage armor on or something like that would glow. Not something that just like a there dragon like wouldn't a dragon. glow. Any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. Yeah, bears like it's on, not is. So like. I don't know. I looked it up a whole bunch, and it says it doesn't reveal if you're a wizard or a sorcerer or a warlock. It doesn't reveal what type of magic you have and stuff like that. It's usually, it detects casted magics, illusions, traps, glyphs on the wall. 
I'm not saying it wouldn't show that I'm glowing. Especially in that scenario, I don't know if you'd be able to decipher whether or not it was my magic or I was simply just covered in residue magic. Or actually, would it pick up the whistle, I wonder, if it, if it is a magic object? Probably. And being a uh, divine yeah. soul sorcerer, it could be that I glow, but a wizard wouldn't glow, his spell book would glow, or something like that. I thought you well, the I information just, that a while ago, that a spell book, it's not necessarily magic. I remember you and I having this conversation because it, it may be a spell book, but it's not magic. It's It would be a spell or like a book that contains your spells. But in order for it to be magic, it would have to be like a plus one spell book. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Because the book itself isn't magic, but the wizard's tie to magic is something that's really hard to fucking explain. Because it's not an inherent ability. So, um, is there anything wrong with going with, like, what Evan said? Because, like, that's what happened. He said, oh, you detect an aura, and I was like, okay, well, Peter doesn't really care much, but he knows. It's, it's a weird scenario, because it shouldn't reveal that I am that I am a sorcerer. But I'm okay with it being like I glow a little bit, being mysterious. But you shouldn't be like, ah, he's a sorcerer because I used detect magic on him. It, the spell shouldn't work that way. I, I don't know. I, mm. If you Google what detect magic does, a lot of forums say that it's just for detecting active magic. Like, I like I get that. I'm I'm saying like I'm taking this right out of the like copy pasting like everything out of the. Uh, oh, I'm not sitting books. down. So basically, the definition of bear's magic is the difference between whether or not or it not says I'm magical, magical or not. I'm, uh, I'm looking at something now, yeah. Going back. Sounds like we have a debate going on. <laughs> About? Detect magic. How so? I love you the quote. Know. It says, it's not a wizard detector, if that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, detect magic? Yeah. Do you recall it's sessions, not. Then? So It's the magic. presence of magic. So if someone were to use a spell then you would detect the spell being used, but you couldn't just catch the tech magic and be like, that person's magical kind of thing. Unless they were literally like, um, a, 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 a what? A, fuck, what's that called again? I think the like, easiest uh, way is illusion. it has to be active magic. It can't be a non-casted spell or something like that. Like, it has to be an enchanted something. Or kind of like or... Um, Shield of Faith, you would detect that. Yeah, you'd be like, holy fuck, this person is... <coughs> has a magical shield. <coughs> I'm okay with so, all of like, glowing, but not has, revealing like, um, what he is. Like, so, say someone has been... It's had, coming um, from I, the session a few, uh, so. a few sessions back, when Azo met with the Shadow Demon, and I detected magic, and Evan, you mentioned that I detected his aura, uh, that he was a sorcerer. So he, we're trying to not, understand if I know or not. I told you that he um, was bathed in magic because basically when he went through that door, he did not um, go through a door. He went through a portal into their realm, which is basically like a flip version of this realm, but all shadowy, very much like the Shadowfellas. Oh, like the Upside Down. 
So he had just basically went plane escaping. So that's why he was all covered in magic. So I don't know that he's a sorcerer. What I know is that he was covered in this weird sorcerer or mag- weird you know magic. He's a sorcerer because the girl that was once possessed by a god he met mentioned it. Told you mentioned that blah 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 yeah, the sorcerer. Oh yeah, he's a sorcerer. Ah, uh, so we do know That's he's a sorcerer. How you guys found out? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't know that you guys know, though. I yeah, that's true because I didn't follow you guys. But when everybody. Tell us? So how long have you I been know a it's confusing. <laughs> you guys. So I think what we're gonna do is I think while we're riding with the Wiccans, we're gonna be in our own little cluster trying to sort some shit out. Where like, okay, look, Azo, you're a fucking sorcerer. And we know this because that crazy assassin chick told us. And something is up with you and that fucking whistle. You gotta come clean. I don't know anything about this whistle. Um. What about when you started going extra crazy? When I noticed that you were covered in, like, magical shadow magic. I feel like a day. Oh. Yo, you want to explain something? Oh, yeah, okay, hold on. That's hard to talk about. Okay, so, Pust, if you remember, we went into the cavern and there was a boat? Yes, we were looking for the boat. And I don't know... I think, I think you went missing for a while, but I wasn't too concerned. Yeah, so, I, there was a little bit of an episode. Um, It's, it's kind of hard to talk about, but Pust... I don't know if Pust did it. But time froze for you guys? And then he led me to this room that I really shouldn't have followed him to. And I went in there like I really shouldn't have. And there was these two shadow gods. And they gave me oh. these gems and this whistle. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember much. I was panicking. <laughs> It was terrifying. <laughs> this is amazing for me. <laughs> that was great. I love okay, I believe him. in character there. That was fantastic. <laughs> the, um, they were the ones Mary who kind of turned to him and say, what did they want from you? They wanted us to kill that Grawl war chief. Remember Pust? He kept saying, a life taken for a life given. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What what life did, what we, life get did we get then? I don't know. <laughs> and then where did these shadow things come from? What do we mean shadow things? The diamonds? Yeah. They came from shadow, man. I don't know. It's a lot. Okay, and they're useless without the wish. Shadow throne. <laughs> That's the god's name that gave them to you. He's the actual god of shadow, whereas Cotillion is the patron of assassins. Okay, so the crystals are still useless to me because they don't respond to me. They only respond. Well, maybe this has got something to do with the chain of dogs or something like that. What does that mean? I don't know. Puss said it. <laughs> well, maybe we you need to go back and know, talk about Ozo, it. Um, you, you have concluded from your brief talk with the gods that Shadow Throne used to be the Emperor and all that stuff. So you're kind of like, ha, huh, Chain of Dogs, Old Emperor, helping out his buddies a little bit, you know? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that guy very well. He came to a couple Holy family man. dinners. <laughs> <laughs> Came to a couple family dinners. <laughs> Back before magic was sanctioned. He was that pervy uncle that hugged for too long. <laughs> oh, God. Viso's just like, wait, 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 wait. The Emperor wait, 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 wait. came to your house for dinner. A few times, yeah. Viso's just gonna be like, are, are you noble? 
Well, I used to be. Mariana turns to you, like, kind of... The only one left in my bloodline, I think. It's been a hard life. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, then. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you and your group, uh, ridden with wounds from battle, uh, ride with the historian towards the encampment. Uh, you dismount, and your horses are taken from you, and it, it just comes down to it being, um, you, the historian, Corporal okay, well, List. Hold on, hold on, they can't take my horse. It's they like, take your horse. It's got like 400 gold on it. What? Really? They just take it? I can't argue. They just take your horses. They just take them. Mariana, use your rank. Dude, you're a noble. Oh, Why do you care about wealth? Because I'm not like, I'm actually not noble. Really Who's taking the uh, gold? Doesn't matter. You're rich to me now. <laughs> well, it's like just fellow soldiers come to collect it, because like Captain Lull told them to, kind of. Yeah. yeah. So if Captain, if it's coming from Captain Lull, then I have to fucking give it to her. Your gold has been seized. Your horses have been taken back to the group of horses. I mean, they need rest. They need to be watered and such. We could have get them like back. kings if we had just Done. left. I'm not going to disobey a direct order. You didn't have to be part of the army anymore if we left. And then go where? Fucking anywhere. That's a very good point. <laughs> There's a lot of nice ruins. We don't make friends with the goblins again. That worked out so great the first time. <laughs> we already have one little green thing following us, and we don't need more. No offense, Viso. <laughs> Viso <laughs> is terrible. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no, I, uh, Mariana is actually quite attached to Viso now. Um, but yeah, we could go anyway. back to Pust and try to figure out what's going on here. Of course, we lost our gold, so we might as well stay here where the gold is. Yep. We well, he also kind of locked you out and then tried to go back in, and you were clearly in danger. He did How not. How did he lock us out? The doors the just, door just get the magically out. behind you. Were they mad? Uh, were they stone, stone doors? doors? Yes. Oh, we should totally get in. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we should totally get in. That was great. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we got this. <laughs> Simple. I just turn it into wood and then we burn it down. But what happens oh, if it's cool. magical stone? Oh. Well, he didn't say that, so I'm assuming they're not. Oh, I'll be able to. Well, I mean, they close, well, I mean, by, they themselves. close by themselves. <laughs> yeah, I could do that with Mage Hand. That doesn't mean the door's magical. Well, the Mage Hand can only do like five pounds of work. Well, maybe he has a stronger Mage Hand than me. I'm a halfling. <laughs> Maybe, he has a Maybe it was the, like, like hundreds of thousands of spiders working together. You don't know. Maybe it was that. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of pissed off his wife when you were leaving, so. Well, it we didn't seem to mind. Back. Back. <laughs> I mean, freaking um, Pust will be, like, thrilled, but she might not. <laughs> Grumble, grumble, grumble. Anyways, Peter's getting sick of all this talking. We're stuck in the camp. Encounter, or is that just still your private knowledge as a character? What That's Peter's you... private knowledge. Good. <laughs> this makes it even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter's grumbling. He's not super happy with how things ended up. He was hoping the shadow gems would be more helpful to him. So he just kind of like throws them back at Ozzo and he's like, since you won't give me the whistle... I can't do shit with these. And then he wants to go find a bed and have a long rest. Oh, well, well. He's, He's had a sleeping. long day. Before any of that happens. Um, okay, what happens? Uh, well, first off, you guys get there. Oh. And your group gets, like, like you get there and blah, 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 blah. They take your horses, everything. Um, everyone goes off except for you guys. Captain Lull, Corporal List, and the Historian. Um, anyways, um, 
you guys are attached to the historian, so you basically have to follow him around. That's your orders. I mean, Pigu doesn't have to, but I don't know what he, else he would do unless he just wants to go wandering around the camp. Can I find anything if I go wandering around the camp? Uh, you can see. <laughs> Alright, Pigu's gonna go wandering around the camp. Look for some snacks and stuff. I'm just curious where the gold got taken. Uh, if you want to follow them, let me know. Yeah, yeah, Pedro's kind of pissed off with how things have been. Okay, the well, fact that Ozzo was holding all this to follow, his chin. No one's really going to, like, stop you from following. Yeah, so um, Pedro's just not going to know what happens with, with the next okay. scene. That okay, um, well... If Pigu wants to know right away where it's being taken, basically they bring it to a bunch of these wagons where it is being stored and unloaded, and then they take the horses with the other horses and go water them and such, and you see that the wagons are being heavily guarded. Is this an actual map, or are you just theater of mining it? Theater of minding. Okay, because I was like, I'm not on that map with you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it like you're describing it like you can see it, but... I don't see it. No, I'm just I'm I'm theater of minding it right now. Sorry, I should have no, told I'm you. Guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, um, the rest of you, uh, you can continue on. Um, basically, uh, Dweek, uh, Dweeker, uh leads you between um hospital tents. Uh, and you guys notice like you know, the hospital tents carry with them a pervasive atmosphere of fear. You, you, you hear the sounds of defiance against death and the silence of surrender. Mortality's many comforting layers are stripped away in those few moments walking through, revealing racked bones and the sudden comprehension of death that throbs like an exposed nerve through your bodies. You continue on out of the hospital tents and the smell of smoke is heavy in the air. So is the smell of horse urine and boiling bone. You come by and there's an old woman tending a cauldron. Whatever is boiling within is clearly not just water. The woman is using a flat blade of wood to collect the thick bone, fat, and marrow that congealed on the surface, scraping it off into intestines to later be tied off and twisted into sausage. She looks up and notices your group and holds out the wooden ladle with wide eyes as if offering it to a toddler to lick clean. The historian denies the taste. Do you guys do? Uh, am, I, am I hungry? Uh, am I, I think I'm hungry. You guys are fucking starving and thirsty as fuck. How, like, you described it like it was terrible. Does it look terrible? <laughs> um, it looks basically like just, um, goop with little bits of sage in it. I'll it smells spoon. delicious, though. Oh, it smells delicious. I'll definitely lick the it's, spoon. It's, it smells sour and sweet. Uh, well, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> um. Okay, so, Ozzo, you eat it, and basically it tastes um, kind of like a General Tao chicken, but the texture of oatmeal. I'm like, oh, man, guys, this is good. Who is this old lady? <laughs> I am but a horsewife of the Wiccans. You are known. You walk in the spirit world. I would not offer this food to just anybody. That's for certain. What the fuck? Go along. Is she like staring at Ozzo? So Ozzo no, she's really saying this to... all as she continues to stir the cauldron. I feel singled out. And I'm um, going to slink back Duker's into the kind shadows. of like... Uh, Duker walks up to you and he's like, See a person survive what we did. And then Lis is going to be all like, And they're God-touched. I... Don't mock it out loud though, Ozzo. Might save your skin one day. So, historian, how goes your list of the fallen? Well, lol, how do we fare? Uh, and then the captain's going to be all like, We were mauled. Badly. And it's still going. Close to 20 killed a day. Twice that many wounded. Vipers in the dust. They suddenly appear. 
arrows fly, a soldier dies. We send out a troop of Wiccans in pursuit, they ride into an ambush. We sound out another, we got a major tangle on our hands, leaving our flanks open to either side. Refugees get cut down, drovers get skewered, and we lose a few more animals. Unless those Wiccan cattle dogs are around, that is. Those are nasty beasts, mind you. Their numbers are dropping as well. This can't keep going. That's why we're heading to the Pantwodan River, historian. There will be another full-scale battle there. We're invited. Another disputed crossing, then. Aye. The river's ankle-deep and getting shallower as the season drags on. And more likely, before the crossing, the trail will wind through some rebel country. We'll find trouble there. In any case, we either carve ourselves some breathing space then, or we're purple meat under the sun and it don't matter. True enough. Back to your question, though, List. Not a list of the fallen, a book of the fallen. And I've lost count, nor do I think it wise to continue the effort. The unnamed soldier is a gift. The named soldier, dead, melted wax, demands a response among the living, a response no one can make. Names are no comfort. They are called to an answer the unanswerable. Why did she die, not him? Why do the survivors remain anonymous as if cursed while the dead are revered? Why do we cling to what we lose while we ignore what we still hold? Name none of the fallen, for they stood in our place and stand there still in each moment of our lives. Let my death hold no glory and let me die forgotten and un unknown. Let it not be said that I was one among the dead to accuse the living. And then Lull's going to be all like, Well, you're cheery company as ever. Anyways, you're all to report to Coltane. He wants to report on what happened in those tunnels. Oh, you would best have him ask the sergeant then. My mind was a blur after the fall and for most of my time in those caverns. I did manage to find a few books that I carry on my person now. Expensive historical tomes, but I have no recollection as how they came into my possession. Nor do I wish to partake in any debriefings. And as he's saying that, um, you're actually approached by Nether, uh, one of the twin uh, warlocks of Coltane's own Kroll clan. And he's kind of like, Ah, but it seems my wishes may go unheeded once more. Greetings, Nether. What news from the warlocks? And this little girl dressed up all in this warlock stuff is going to be all like, We were numerous. But now we are few. Many have passed the way of the wing in the previous engagement, and their souls now fly the winds back to our homeland, historian. Of the warlocks, only Nil, Sormo, and I remain. That few? By the gods, how are we to face Camus Rouleau's high sorcery with only three warlocks and two squad mages? You underestimate Sormo's power. Besides... There is a taint in the warrens. Accessing them has become more and more difficult. Don't forget about Where Pigu. this infection... Pardon? Don't forget about Pigu. We've got squad mages and Pigu. Uh, like, I point him out. Three Everyone warlocks, Everyone two squad mages, and one... I know not of this Pigu, but I am sure I will find him soon. Grumble, 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 he should grumble. wear this infection as well. As Sorma would put it, it might take a hold of the squad mages if they are not careful and access the warrens. It has caused many spells to have harmful repercussions. Every, we, on we the other hand, hand make bargains with the spirits of these lands. They are eager to play. And I notice none of the Wiccans are grieving their losses today, when your losses clearly numbered the highest after the battle. Why do they not mourn like the other soldiers? Coltane forbids it. Wh why? For that answer, you must ask him. We have not mourned our losses since this journey began. And how do you and the others in the three clans feel about that? Coltane commands. We obey. And as you guys are walking, talking with this little girl, uh, you guys are actually going to be coming towards the center of the camp. 
where um, bloop, 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 bloop. the nobles are. And List is going to be all like, looks like trouble ahead. Bad news, it looks, for the servants who were given back to the nobles after they were conscripted to bolster the ranks by Captain Chened. And then Captain Lowell's going to be all like, I see the nobles are pleased by the return of their servant folk. Oh, for fuck's sake, just what I needed tonight. And yeah, as you come to the clearing in the camp center where the noble refugees have parked their wagons, uh, you come across one of the nobles whipping a servant. The short, wide man in the leather, uh, with the leather cat tail and one bloated hand is rather familiar. It is the noble Lanestro you recognize from earlier encounters during this whole escapade. And he's using the whip in a red-faced fury to beat a servant, making him look almost like a frothing ape. Other servants are present, all averting their eyes in fear of being the next victim. Uh, Dweaker walks up to the man. Uh, their rage is clear across his face. Um, the other officers and Nether kind of follow. And Lanestro's all like... <clears throat> Just give me a second. Not your business, historian. These servants fought to defend you. That defense kept your head on your shoulders, Lanestro. Coltane's officers stole property. The council so judged him. The fine has been issued. And then Captain Lull's all like, Issued and duly pissed on. And then Lanestra wheels on the captain, raising his whip. And Dweaker's all like, a warning, striking a soldier of the seventh, or for that matter, an officer will see you hung. Corporal List, see that man brought to the healers. And kind of, he goes and collects him and takes him away. And then Lanestra's all like, He shall be returned to me once healed. And Dweaker's all like, So you can do it all over again? Wrong. He will not be returned to you, nor will the others. And he kind of gestures, and the other servants run away as well. And then Lanestra's all like, All acts contrary to Malazan law being noted, they will be recompensed with interest. And then Dweaker's going to run up uh, on him, uh, looking as though he has heard enough, and he closes the distance between the two and grabs him by his collar and gives him, like, a really teeth-rattling shake. Uh, the whip <laughs> falls out of, out of his hand, and the noble man is so uh, wide with terror. And Dweaker's all like, You probably think I'm going to tell you about the situation we're all in. But it's already ovid- uh, <clears throat> it's already, already evident that there's little point. You are a small brain thug, Lanestro. Push me again and I'll have you eating pig shit and liking it. Uh, List then runs up after taking the servants away and is all like, S What did he say about my he shit? He's fainted. <laughs> and then uh, Dweaker drops him. Uh, and yeah, the guy's unconscious. And Dweaker's all like, So he has... And then the uh, woman noble is going to walk up and is all going to be like, Was that really necessary? As if our ongoing petition is not crowded enough. Now we have personal bullying to add to our grievances. Shame on you, historian. And then Captain Lull is going to walk up and be like, Excuse me, ma'am, but you might wish to know before you resume berating the historian that scholarship came late to this man. You will find his name among the noted on the first army's column at Unta. And had you not come late to this scene, you would have witnessed an old soldier's temper. Indeed, it was admirable restraint that the historian elected to use both hands to grip Lonestro's cloak, lest he use one to unsheath the well-worn sword at his hip and drive it into the toad's heart. We'd best move on, historian. Sorry, yeah, are you just saying like... the historian was a military guy this whole time? Yeah, he was a soldier before he became the historian. And he's just been a historian through that whole escapade with us when he could have been fighting? 
he's retired. He's a historian. He's an old man. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. But he's been, like, holding <laughs> back? Yes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. All right. Use prestidigitation um, to, like, cast a fart around him. I'm pissed. Well, you're not here, remember? You were checking out the... Damn it! Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> I just... I had you there because, yeah. I thought I caught, you I thought I caught up because he was there, but yeah, you're right. I could say you guys <laughs> caught up. So, nah, it's okay. Pidu just doesn't know what's going on. Okay, well, well, now you catch up with the rest of them. Um, but anyways, well, he decides um, not to ask for them about what just happened, so he okay. doesn't know. <laughs> well, they tell you all about what just happened. <laughs> oh my God, these talking heads—they don't shut. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, you guys uh, then leave and head directly for the seventh main camp and the command tent. As you enter, you find Fisk Holtain looking over some maps, clearly planning the battles to come. He regards uh, you without looking up from the map, kind of like waving with one hand to sit down. Um, the uh, Colonel Bolt is seated in the corner. And Coltane is going to go, Well done, all of you, for surviving this far. But I have more to ask of you. In the battle to come, historian, you and this squad will ride with the Marines. And Lull's going to look over and be like, Best of the best, old man. Very well, Fist. R returning the servants to the nobles was a mistake. It seems the Nobleborn have concluded that you'll not take them away again if they're not fit to stand. And um, Colonel Bolt is going to stand up and he's going to be like, They showed spine, those servants. Just holding the line, mind you. But that's what they did. Uncle, do you still have the scroll demanding compensation? I, and that compensation was calculated based on the worth of each servant in coin. Collect the servants, then. Pay for them in full, in gold. I, though all that gold will burden the noble sorely. And then the fist is going to look back to his uncle slash colonel and is going to be all like, better them than us. And then lull, and she's what? gonna be like clearing her what? throat, and she's gonna be like, <clears throat> it, "Excuse me, fist, that that coins the soldiers pay, isn't it? The empire honors its debts. You are all dismissed. What if you, what if Sergeant the Rockwell. empire could pay its debts temporarily? What what if what if you paid the nobles in gold?" But then an hour later, that gold was wood. They, they, they disregard you. They don't even acknowledge that. Fine. He doesn't care. That was fantastic. <laughs> These are very hard men before you, Pigu. They, they don't like jokes. <laughs> it's not a joke. I could make wood into gold. We could pay the noblemen, and then they would be left with nothing. Like, I don't mind him, um, you know. I repeat, you are all dismissed, bearing you, Sergeant Rothwell. But then the historian is going to speak up, and he's going to be like, A fist needs his rest, Coltane. And a historian? A historian never rests. We are denied in our needs, then. It was ever th thus. <clears> ha! <throat> Historian, you joke like a Wiccan. I've made a study of your lack of humor. That is plainly clear. You may go. Now, Sergeant, you stay. And everyone is kind of kicked out of the tent except for Mariana. All right, do we get beds and long rest? 
Yeah, you guys can all have a long rest now if you want, Great. except for Mariana, who is going to be talking to the general. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Sergeant, I'd like a report of your activity in those tunnels. We... Can I... Ah, oh, fuck. I can't, um... I can't roleplay this. Sorry. Evan, can I just convey, like, everything that's gone through the past three games? Yes. yes. Casualties were heavy. Um, there was a cave-in. I lost most of my men. We were ambushed by goblins. We, uh, but we managed to find a ton of gold. Uh, and we tried to bring it back, uh, back to the camp. Yes, that is the gold we are going to be paying the nobles for the uh, <clears throat> for their servants to come back into the ranks. We thought if we gave them back that the nobles would be happy, but it appears that they are not. So we will load them up with gold. It better they carry it than us. Does any of that gold go towards the resources and everything? Well, the so nobles would own, own, own it. Then they'd have baths. <clears throat> well, I mean, oh, clean people. There's nothing to really buy out here, and, and like, like, what do you mean, kind of thing? They're just greedy buggers. Sorry, what I. Like, do you mean, like, is some of that gold going to, like, buy, um, like, rations and stuff? Yeah, for the camp. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, well, n no. There, there are no traders out here that would deal with us. And if they would, I wouldn't trust it anyways. It's most likely poisoned. We have what we have and what we can find. That is it. So, so that gold went towards nothing then. It's that gold went towards, towards getting, getting men back away from torture and unworthy punishment. Oh, okay. Now I just feel like a dick. <laughs> and bearing your journey, there's something I would tell you. The game the mind must play to unleash destruction. I've stood amidst the ranks more than once, sensing the soldiers alongside me seeking and finding that place in their minds. Cold and silent, the place where husbands, fathers, wives, and mothers become killers. And practice makes it easier, each time, until it becomes a place you never leave. You have yet to find that place, Sergeant, and I fear you must. You have met loss in your time, this is good, it pays to know humility, lest the delusion of control of mastery overwhelms. But only two kinds of people die in battle, the old emperor had once said. Fools and the unlucky. You are not foolish, sergeant. This I can see. Therefore, you and your men must have simply been unlucky. These are my orders for my faith in you is not shattered, nor is that of your captain. You will escort the refugees through the canyons parallel to us on the march. You will, you will have cover from this coming skirmishes there. I'm sending the historian with you as well. We will regroup near the Panpodan crossing for the coming battle there. You are dismissed. And Sergeant, you and your squad, you are truly blooded now, a true warrior. I'd be happy to have you and your men as honorary members of my clan. And he rips off some feathers from his cloak and hands them to you. And he's like, oh, wear them with pride. What? Why? Um, yeah, I, I say thank you, General. And then I take my leave. All right, well, you can go um, have a long rest now before the coming morning where you and your squad are going to escort some refugees through the canyons. Cool. And I don't know exactly, um, David, how longer, how much longer you have, so 
I, I don't know. Um, I think I mm-hmm. have like half an hour. Sounds okay. like. Because we'd probably be going into another encounter that would be taking a little bit longer than that. So. Um, okay. Um, then I don't know if you guys want to just find like, a reason for RP to... before, like, you do your long rest and kind of RP what you do during your long rest, or do you guys. Want yeah, to I'd, I'd be down for that actually. Actually, yeah. There's something that uh, P- Pidu needs some time after resting to, uh, like, a philosopher's stone or something like that. <laughs> Because I can do that minutes. now. What do you have to do with a philosopher? Oh, I need. Stone? Sorry, I need to make a transmuter stone. Sorry, it's not a philosopher's stone, but it's the same idea. But I need eight hours to, to make it. So he's going to be at camp for a day anyhow. But if you guys wanted to go through and do your thing, he could be doing that, or he can just wander off into the desert. One. I'll, I'll say he makes his stone. That's really a day's worth of work, though. Yeah, but, I mean, you got the time. I don't know what everyone else is doing. Are they doing their adventure during this eight hours, or are they uh, we're, also so at the... We're interacting place. with each other in, like, the... or whatever in the camp. Well, this is what's going this on during your eight hours of long rest right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna yeah. sleep for most of that. Uh, Evan, can yeah. I send a? Yeah. Can Mariana send a note like via Raven or? To 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 who? <laughs> um, Mariana's uh, gonna try and write a note, unbeknownst to the group, to a contact. Uh, back out in Faerun, so she's going to write a i guess a general note asking if the contact has seen any or seen anybody by her description and then she's gonna tie up the note and then give it to a raven can i do that okay type that all out because basically you want to send a raven back to faerun what What? yeah so i want to send a raven to Mariana has a, a contact that she's trying to reach out to and she just wants to send a secret note but uh, I could write the note later and I'm hoping like you and Evan might get or you and Matt might get a kick out of it um hmm but yeah she's just sending a note that's it because right now you're in a very different world than Faerun so if there's a way to like to like, play like, 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 your raven. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just send a raven to her contact and it could be just. Send your raven to a contact, contact that I'm assuming has some sort of way to contact different planes. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to uh, send a note there, so. All right, so you send a note to your contact. All right. And she just... And you can either use some sort of messenger raven and or... um, I don't know. Send a message in a bottle. You guys are pretty close <laughs> to the open right now. <laughs> I'll write out the uh, message later, but yeah, I do that. I take some time to do that. Okay. And Ozo just sleeps, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should be helping in the hospitals instead of sleeping. So I may not take a Ozo long rest. Ozo tries to sleep. <laughs> hey, if you want to go help in the hospitals, they need all the help you can get. You guys got, like, hello. Yeah, that's Remember what, what they do. said. 20 dead a day, half, uh, twice that many wounded. Yeah, no long rest for us, so I'm gonna stay in the hospital and help. That's fucking cool, right. I like that. Give me, give me five medicine rolls. What? Give me five medicine rolls as you're helping oh, me in the hospital. Oh, I heard five minutes. 
and roll. You do five minutes of rolls. You're like, what the fuck? That's how many people you have. <laughs> five medicine rolls, okay. Fuck. Turns out I am apparently okay. not good at medicine. The uh, first man you come to... The they're first in really man bad you... shape. <laughs> um. Oh boy, okay. One more. I'll let you just finish your five rolls before I tell you how each of these go down. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Except for the 18. It's been a bad battle. <laughs> There's nothing I could do. Um, first so night you go to, you just snap. First it. one you come to is a young boy who has a large gash across the top of his thigh. You know that his uh, artery has been severed. You try and you try to um, press down the wound and try to find the artery to tie it back together and stop the bleeding. But the boy just keeps screaming and the people there aren't able to hold him down as there is no anesthetic at this time. And the boy just bleeds and bleeds out and slowly goes pale and limp. You are not able to stop the bleeding and the first patient dies. The second one you come to has been struck by a sorceress attack. Um... His armor has basically been melted and fused to his skin. His helmet and skull are fused together. You feel as there is nothing that you can do to help this man except give him a slow, pain, uh, a quick, uh, a slow pain. painful death. Did I roll that bad? <laughs> <laughs> a quick painless death. So you just kind of like you're like, I'm sorry. There's nothing that can be done, and you just slit his throat. Um, the third person has lost both legs from, uh, an explosion of, uh, you know, those clay things. Basically, some of those misfired, and he lost both his legs, and he's all fucked up from shrapnel, and he, the blood loss is just too much for this one. You're not able to save him either. You figure that at the rate that he is bleeding, he'll be dead within the hour. So you just kind of like say a small prayer to Osser, guiding his soul. Um, the next one actually um, is just a simple um, horse mishap. The guy fell and broke his leg, but it's a compound fracture. Um, you're able to amputate his leg and cauterize the wound. He will live, but he has lost his leg. Um, and the last guy um, has had most of his face ripped off by a um, axe. And sadly, it looks as though fever has taken him as infection has spread to the wound. You feel as though you would have been able to save him if you had gone to him sooner, but infection is taken in. And unless there is some sort of way to cure the infection, um, this man will also pass. Yep. So, Azo had a very rough night. Um, out of the five people he tried to help, only one was savable, and he is just not having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Rough night. night. You, you did your best. <laughs> he honestly I'm did, so though. That's the sad thing. That's all that like, matters. It's just, it's just the rolls. I made, I made, I made the DC sixteen. Because I'm like, this is a war hospital, right? Like, I'm, I'm figuring like these people are mangled. So. Yeah, they're fucked. <laughs> Turns out you're right. They're fucked. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm yeah. just doomed from the start. Yeah, and then um, after that, I guess I, I just... will allow you to take a short rest if you'd like. Though you still have about like four hours until you'd have to uh, get up and get going. 
according to Sergeant Rothwell's orders. I'd, I would take a short rest, do some praying and stuff like that, but I would spend the rest of any time in the hospital. All right. Cool. Can, I, can I role play uh, with you on that, Matt? Sure. Like, do you go anywhere to pray or? Like, um. Anywhere... Also, likes high spots. He likes to get a good view of the sunrise. Okay. I guess at some point in the the camp or whatever, Mariana saw you you pass by off on your lonesome, and then see uh trails you. Yeah, you, you see Ozzo walking off, off towards some uh, some hills where um, the people, uh, some goats are being herded by uh, by some uh, Wiccan elders. And as he approaches, they kind of like shoo the goats off and leave his path. And you can see that his arms are just drenched in blood, and you know it's not his own. Do okay. I get like to the top of the hill, and I can do some yeah. stuff? Yeah, and and you see like the sun slowly rising, kind of thing. I want to like put the gems out, and like as it's rising, being like, ask the gods, like why, why, why have you forsaken me? Ah, little one, I have been watching you. Are you serious? Is this is actually happening. <laughs> the uh the demons talking in your head. Oh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Mariana wouldn't hear this then, but she'd be aware of like she's watching him then, right? Yeah. I'm kind of Little like, one, you you can call this one Grey Fog. Grey Fog watched you toil with the mortals. Why do you struggle with them when they are already dead? What the fuck? <laughs> am I supposed to respond to that? Yeah, my what the fuck is my response? I am to guard you vigilantly. It would be wise if we would have a re relationship. Yes? No? I am a stranger to this realm. It tastes strange. The bones are crunchier here. I, I don't know. I'm definitely going to give that thing the cold shoulder and just, like, think to myself. <laughs> cool. Ah, you ignore me. Gotcha. Rude. Detestable. Oh. Why? Fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but you pray to the wrong god. Oh. He has... Shorn you, but still uses you. I don't, like roll around like I'm trying to get something out of my head. Like, <laughs> ah, get out of my head! Uh, can this be an appropriate time for Mariana to interject? Probably. <laughs> I wanted to be like, yeah, I'm like physically in character, like rolling around, like get out of my head. Oh, you're actually, like, I can physically see you rolling around? Yeah, or? like, say I'm, like, kneeling when I'm doing, like, the praying and stuff. So, like, now I drop to my back and I'm, like, rolling Why around. Why do you roll around, you mortals? Oh, so it's just, like, <laughs> Mariana kind of shakes, shakes Ozzo, like, Ozzo! Ozzo! Oh, I've already forgot its name. Littlefoot or something? Grey Fog. Grey Fog. I want to be like, Grey Fog. That demon from the gem it's in gray my head. Frog? Gray frog, or gray fog? Somebody yes, <laughs> gray frog it is. <laughs> gray fog, yeah. Anyway, I say all of those names. Land on gray Land fog. On gray fog. <laughs> and Mariana kind of just says, like, who are those? Like. Actually, is Ozzo awake at this point, or is yeah, he still, like... Yeah, he's conscious. <laughs> oh, okay. So... I'm just heavily yeah, exhausted, heavily from, exhausted not sleeping. from not sleeping. Um, yeah. Uh, Mariana 
kind of just says, like, are you okay? Like, who are, like, what are you talking about? The demon from the gym. I, since I blew the whistle, it's, it's it hasn't left. It's in my mind. In my mind. I wonder if I can do something about that. That'd be, that'd be really cool, actually. Do you, like, banish him? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Protection from good and evil might do anything. Can you put it on me? I was always like, uh, I'm into that. <laughs> we'll see. Touch any willing creature, yeah. Let's do it. Protect yeah, me from evil. evil. The laughter and questions in your mind go silent. Oh my god. For ten minutes. <laughs> Mariana goes, did that work? Uh, it's silent. Why does she block me out, mortal? Wait, he can hear that? <laughs> He's watching. He told Ozzo that he'd be watching from the shadows. You don't know where he is, but he is always watching. Freaking out, man. Freaking out. Uh, Mariana kind of just takes it off, like, kind of takes in what happened, and then she kind of turns to Ozzo and jokingly kind of said, I had a brother like you once. Always took off when the fancy needed, or uh, when he fancied. Oh my goodness. I thought it was a big I... deal when Evan Dream name dropped the campaign. <laughs> you just name dropped her game. swollen with eggs. You hear that in your mind. The demon's telling you that Mariana wants to bone. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a hormone monster. <laughs> Maybe? You know what they say about a good... Like a good hormone monster or a bad one? Like that sad old one? <laughs> I don't know, guy! So, anyway... Mariana kind of just uh, tells him that, uh, or asks him about like who he worships. Ow! Fuck, Mickey, go away. Who I worship? <laughs> or you're telling me about who she worships? No, like I, uh, she's asking who you worship that you uh, come all this way, like up to the hill. Uh, this is for Osric. I also pray to Solaire, the Lady of Health. And the son of the, oh, god. Son of the, the god. god of the sun. God of the sun. I take it that's where you were tonight, and she's regarding your bloody hands. Yeah, battles are pretty gruesome. That's what gold gets you. I figured I might as well help. She's like, well, I have uh, noticed your. The contributions you make to this group and they're certainly appreciated can I like swoon senpai <laughs> <laughs> can I like rosy oh, cheeks like and all like wiggly <laughs> she goes in that time you may want to uh, uh, get some sleep while you can we're, we're heading out soon anyway like, I have a spell for that if you need. To sleep? Yep. Oh, you li oh, like the sleep? Okay. Um, I don't know how long that lasts, but Ozzo would be super into that. He'd be like, yeah. Actually, like, like, yeah. like, please. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure, because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I thought I'd be able to do that through command. But then, like, is that kind of, like, over-pushing, like, what command can do? Because I can... Yeah, because command Actually, technically me... only lasts six seconds. Because it's only one round. I don't know if command could do that. That's pretty weird. Because you can so command you me to sleep, and then I just keep sleeping? You should keep sleeping, bro. 
So, so while this is all going down, I'm going to type what Azo hears in his head. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Needs fish. No, that says flesh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that says flesh. Oh, oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Mariana's gonna notice that while she's talking to him, he's saying no quite a lot to not her. <laughs> yeah. No! I no. thought uh, my other spell kind of put that away for a bit. Protection from good and evil. I don't know if I actually hear that or not. Maybe I do. <laughs> you are a demon. <laughs> Damn it, Grey Frog. You're making me look like an idiot. Just like an idiot. Like an idiot. Just start <laughs> <boring. laughs> Yeah, I guess yeah, uh, I get... Mariana can see that I am I'm fighting something. <laughs> it's been too long, I guess. Unless you do it again. Unless you do it again. Oh, it's only six seconds too. Fuck. Oh no, that's command. Oh, no, no, that's yeah. command. Yeah. So can I just command you to sleep? I don't know if if it works like that. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to sleep. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> don't leave me behind. Oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll carry you back to ten. <laughs> so Marianne, and just every six seconds, sleep, sleep, sleep. sleep. Well, all I have sleep. to do is fall asleep mm -hmm. and stay asleep, like I'm tired. Yeah. It's like okay. the first six seconds, you just knock me out. Oh. And then I, I just wonder stay if asleep. these things enter your dream. Well, then, then if you just go to sleep, then you hear nothing. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. I like it. So yeah, I just command him to sleep. I snap my fingers like Thanos, and he just kind of like <laughs> drifts off. And I, I'm gonna carry Ozzo back to his tent. Um, cool. Um, before you are able to grab him, um, a creature is going to come forth from the shadows and is oh, going no. to kind of hiss at you and. Almost take, like, you know how a dog would guard its unconscious master? Oh, yeah. Take one of those stances over Ozzo. Go. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Shoot, did you bring the spray bottle? Uh, one second. Let me see how I interact with this. Man, we... We told you about the demon. All of the things we told you just came true. You could be like, fuck, they were definitely not lying. Um, it is oh, then it's going to um, rear its hind legs towards Mariana. And, and you see this quite vividly, Mariana. Um, no. out, of two, out of a fold under the creature, um, two penises come out. And it begins, creep, <laughs> it begins to secrete a foul-smelling urine and draws a line with it between you and Ozzo, and then gets back to guard Ozzo. I do not just have Help me, this Mariana! Is really gross. <laughs> Shut up! That is not. You did not do that. Just pissed a line. It did. Gross. It did. With two of them, like how? Like laser beams? Like. <laughs> Like, almost like, 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 you know how a skunk sprays kind of? Like no. that, but like, like, like a pressure washer instead. Gross. But two of them. I'm so happy I'm not awake for this. Two twin lines between you. And, and, and then it looks you in the eyes, Mariana, and you hear in your head, You will not harm this one, even if you wish to lay with him. What the fuck? <laughs> Who said anything about laying with him? I mean, you are taking me to bed right now. Your 
Your kind does yes, not. Yes, your tent. <laughs> well, no, that didn't sound better. Lay with him, else kind. This is a strange mating ritual, but you will not harm him. Be gone, He's so clearly amazing. just confused by what's going on. I'm gonna tell and thinks you're going to lay with Ozzo. <laughs> Protecting, protecting, me. protecting me. He basically He's... just Dorian to you. He wait what? <laughs> what? What? I, I I I made the joke. He just got Dorian. Who Marion? Like Marion. Got Dorian because Dorian. I'm just following you. You're a rapist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh, no, that happened to two characters now. So this <laughs> demon just Dorian to Mariana. Oh fuck you! It's okay. That thing's uh, kind of thing's crazy. Yeah, I tell the creature to beat it, and I'm gonna pick Ozzo up. Like, and it kind, of kind of looks at you and is like, like, and then you hear in your head, um, wait. wait could you kill a horse for me? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I say nothing, and I just keep keep going down. <laughs> keep going. Fine. Down the Everyone line. ignores Great Bog. <laughs> I can't believe that. And it slithers yeah. away <laughs> under it's some like, like fuck rock off, rock and then like up. picks him up just and walks out. <laughs> and he's just getting like showboating or whatever and then suddenly he just realizes like he, he's just getting ignored he's like can you kill a horse for me please <laughs> what no, love me he, he seems like a pretty chill demon he's just really hungry <laughs> just wants a horse anyway I put, and to protect uh, Ozzo I put Ozzo in his tent and let him sleep it off, or sleep off, till the morning. All right. Ozzo, do you consent to this? Yep. I was gonna take a short okay. rest. <laughs> Not as bad as Dorian. <laughs> and then I leave. Yeah, that was fucking. I didn't get it at first, and then you're. <laughs> Then you had to explain it again, but I was like, oh my god. I know. Honestly, it wasn't the best joke. Any yeah, joke you nobody, have to explain is not a good joke. To that to our game. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> or Baron. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we, we can call it quits here. You guys have a rest, and then we'll catch up when you guys uh, wake up and all that. And yeah, I think we'll call it quits for tonight, seeing as uh, I'm pretty sure David has to go at this point. It's been about half an hour, so. Yeah, it's, it's been fun listening in. <laughs> All right, well, um, hopefully you guys had a good time, and I'll see you guys next Monday. I know David is not available next Monday, you said? That's correct. I'm, I'm not available next Monday. Okay, well, we'll probably do something where Pigu sleeps it off. But yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Later. Oh, he's all tight. All right. Out. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you en enjoy having the creepy thing with two penises following you now. <laughs> no, I'm. Well, no, I guess it's Matt's problem. But well, I don't know about it. <laughs> that makes it a really big problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a little shocked that that happened. I was like, there's no, Evan's not, Evan's fucking around. And then Evan's just like, no, it happens. No, it happens. I'm sorry. It's just these creatures have two penises and they're very territorial. Okay, what <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make that vividly clear. Is this a thing? <laughs> it must be from the, book. from the book. All right, guys, I'm signing off. All right. <laughs> All right. Is that, Is that like Bye, actually guys. canon from the book? Oh, Evan just dropped out.
left with nothing but questions. <laughs> don't try to Google it. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want. I kind of want to, but I'm afraid of what I'll find. Yeah. Oh God. That was a fun session. That was deep narrative from Evan. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. So like big, big strides for the story. For the story. Yeah, I um, I saw the thing you posted, and I was just like, 